you guys hey everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to the channel on this channel we try to cover all things reality tv news and gossip as well as trending topics and today we're going to be talking about mama june oh the past few episodes of their show mama june family crisis she's been called out for stealing her daughter alana thompson who we used to know as honey boo boo june has been called out for stealing alana's money and in a recent episode, literally just said she was not going to be her daughter's ATM machine. What? Make this make sense. I don't even understand. I don't even understand, you guys. Literally, she literally did this, okay? Let's keep in mind, okay? We're going to go over a couple of things because what? June, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so we're going to kind of start from the beginning, okay? I mean, Mama June, she had little lana on tyler's and tiaras a show that yeah the first like i think they were initially on like two episodes of the show um that was not paid but then they landed a more um consistent place on the show from my understanding where they paid for like alana's entries and things like that right this is per june's words that they didn't pay her they just paid for her entries her entries fees to the pageants okay we'll go with that we'll go with that here's the thing anytime you are your child's on a tv show you got to be compensated in some regard i would assume right especially a child you can't have a child on the show and not make something but let's just say the only compensation that they got was them paying alana's entry fee okay whatever let's move on to here comes honey boo boo they were on the here comes honey boo boo show for a couple of years and they went from Let's just put it in context. Everybody, well, I see people saying they didn't really make that much money from Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Well, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo ran for two years. They were canceled in 2015. In like 2017 or 18, when the Here Comes, when the Mama June, not the hot, started, Mama June managed to live three or four years on the money from Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. And right before, not to hot started she used their last hundred and fifty thousand hundred and fifty six thousand dollars to buy the house thank you so much kim c i appreciate you guys this is going into my georgia fund so anybody that sends super chats paypal's cash app or whatever is going into my fund because we're going to georgia on the 16th to go to this court case okay to hopefully i've gotten permission to go um i was told that i can be there so um there's no guarantee that a judge will make a decision on what's going to happen with Mama June, with Caitlin, Anna's daughter, of where she will go. It's possible I will drive all the way there and they will continue it. I mean, that is very possible. So thank you, Kim C, for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So. Okay. Here comes Honey Boo Boo, like I said, ran for two seasons. Or two years. It ran for two years. It was, it was more than two seasons. It ran for two years. And they started out in that little house by the railroad tracks. I mean, broke, right? It didn't have a lot of money. It gets canceled in 2015. They made enough money that Mama June lived off that money for three or four years. I got. I should have looked up whenever. I should have looked up when Mama June Not to Hot started. Um, but they lived off that money for several years. So they made a decent amount. And Mama June was spending the paycheck, the whole paycheck that was coming to her for June, Sugar Bear, Pumpkin, Jessica, Alana, Anna, and Caitlin. So she was receiving a paycheck for seven people. So while, thank you, Truth Seekers. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you guys. I only look at the comments every once in a while, but I'm glad I'm looking over them. Thank you. So, um, they made a decent amount from the Here Comes Honey Boo Boo show. None of the girls saw a dime from that. None of the girls saw a dime from the Here Comes Honey Boo Boo money. Mind you, when Anna filed her lawsuit, as you guys see right here, Anna Cartwell suing Mama June and TLC for alleged unpaid appearances on the Here Comes Honey Boo Boo show. When Anna, this is in 2015, right? This is after, this is when the show Here Comes Honey Boo Boo was canceled because 
Anna did not live with Mama June. She lived with her grandmother. Mama June got the show. Welcome to the family, Carolyn. You guys are welcome, Carolyn, as a LB YouTube channel member. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So whenever the show is canceled due to Mama June reconnecting with Anna's abuser, Anna reached out to June and was like, hey, give me my money. Like, I have one child. I'm pregnant with another one. Where's my money? And the reason Anna was persistent with this is because June had vocally promised Anna, if you move back home, if you leave your grandmother's house and come back here to live in my house, so our family looks whole so we can film because June had gotten the show. She had gotten Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. She knew they were going to be filming a reality TV show about her family. So she did not want to start a show and her 17-year-old daughter be living with her mom. Why does she not want that? Well, because it wouldn't paint June to be the great um, mom that she portrayed herself to be on that show. On that show, she talks about how, oh, her kids go nowhere without her. She's so protective of her, over her kids. She teaches her kids the, 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 the fundamentals of life, and she's she's just the best mom, right? So she knew when starting that show, I can't start this show with my 17-year-old pregnant living with my mom. So she convinced Anna to move back home. And she said, if you move back home, I will buy you and your boyfriend a trailer because Anna was pregnant at the time with Caitlin by, um, oh crap, I just forgot his name. I just forgot his name. But she was pregnant, right? And she was still dating her boyfriend. So Anna left her grandmother's house, who she had been living with for eight, nine years. She left the town that her boyfriend lived in, moved in with June for that promise, right? Because she, Anna's like, oh, I'm 17. How am I going to afford a place to live? So her mom promised her that. She said, come film for a year and I'll buy you a trailer. She said, okay. So she moves in with her mom. She actually ends up filming for two years. Her and her boyfriend break up. She has Caitlin. She starts dating Michael. Her and Michael get married. They move off. Whenever the show was canceled, the Here Comes Honey Boo Boo show was canceled. Anna. And Caitlin and Michael were living in Alabama. June says she raised Caitlin for four years. Not true. Caitlin was with her mama in Alabama. Either way, when it was canceled, she said, Mama, give me my money. And June was like, Oh, well, it, you know, you really don't have a lot. You've got like 15000 left, but yeah, I'll send it to you. She never received it. And I never received the money, right? So time goes on, time goes on. Anna tried to start a lawsuit and her, she did hire an attorney and the attorney sent June a letter saying you have 10 days to send us a detailed uh, like summary of the account that had Anna's money in it. June never sent it and Anna never like proceeded with the suit because she was literally 18, newly married and didn't have the money to pursue it. So she just ended up dropping the situation. So they get the Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Or they get the Mama June from Not to Hot, right? At this time, Pumpkin is 16 or 17. Alana's young, 10 or so. I don't remember. Yeah, she's actually 10. Um, nope, she's not. She's going to be 12 or 13. So anyways, when they start Mama June from Not to Hot, once again, Mama is receiving paychecks for her for Alana and for Pumpkin. She's already screwed them over with the Honey Boo Boo money. And now he here she is. She's getting the money for it, the Not to Hot show. Pumpkin told us that when she turned 18, she had to sign her own contract with the network to start getting paid, right? And at that time, Pumpkin started getting her money. But before that, she didn't receive no money. So here's the thing. Mama June, on this past season, on the last few episodes, they confronted Mama June about the Coogan account because as far as Alana knew, she knew the Honey Boo Boo money was gone. She knew that was spent. She knew all those years that she was on Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, her mama already blew that money. So she was thinking the first two years of Mama June not to hot and then her doing Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, Dancing with the Stars and even some of the mass Singer that that money was going to go into a Coogan account. She's preparing for college and she asked her mom, she literally asked her mom, she says, can you please help me with college? 
And her mom says, no, no. June already is very much aware that their, her girls were on a show that they were getting paid for and she never gave them a dime. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate you. So she already knew this. She already knew that, and here's my thing. If you already knew that you took money from your girls and now the one that was like the most known is going off to college and she asked you to help, you should be like, I owe that to her. That's the least I can do for my daughter that wants to go to college is help her. It's help pay some of the college because I blew some of her money, right? And exactly, not helping a lot of the college is a BS. We're going to listen to a few clips from the past week's episode, right? Where they talk about the Coogan account, where Pumpkin sits down with Dodo and tells Dodo, yeah, mama refused to help. Um, so we're going to listen to a few clips and then we're going to listen to a clip where literally less than a week after June is confronted for taking Alana's money. She tells her husband, Justin, that she is tired of being her daughter's ATM machine. I'm like, does she think we're all stupid? Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. She thinks we're all stupid. That's what it is. All right. So. Uh, anybody getting rain? It is literally pouring here. All right, so here's just a a couple of little clips. Okay, imagine being the woman that used hundreds of thousands of dollars of your daughter's money, if not millions. It is quite possible, and I wish I could talk to like the manager or something to figure out how much money June spent of Alana's. But imagine being the mom or imagine this being your mom spending upwards of a million dollars of your money. And then when you go to college saying, I'm not going to help you. Yes, I blew all your money, but I'm still not going to help you with college. Sorry, I spent your money on drugs for me. Woo! And I'm not going to help you help you with college. Sorry. What? Yes, I agree with this, Gwendolyn. I don't think somebody like June should be on TV. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not advocating to have her removed, but because I do understand to remove June from the show, like if they were to cancel the show, that also affects other people's ability to tend to, you know, take care of their families. Um, but I don't think June is a good person at all. The way that she has talked about Anna after Anna's passing, like me and my husband said, usually if somebody loses a family member, they, they, admire that family member more than they did in real life or they will publicly talk that family member up maybe more than what that family member deserved or really was right like you know you lose like an ex-boyfriend and, and you're like oh my god he was he was a great guy and you leave out the fact that he did x y and z to you because well you know you want to respect the 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 the, the deceased and you don't want to paint them out to be terrible people. June has done the exact opposite with Anna. Anna passes away. June lies on her saying, oh, she didn't know who Caitlin's dad was. That's not true. Oh, she tested so many men, like six men. That's not true. Uh, so many things that June said about Anna after Anna passed. I'm just like, did, did, I don't know how any of her daughters are well with her at all. I know I wouldn't be. But let's continue listening to some of the clips from them talking about June stealing the money. And I wish, I really wish that um, Alana would have lawyered up. Alana talked in her TikTok about the reason she, why she didn't lawyer up. And she's like, I know I'm not going to get anything. And to sue my mom, it would cost a lot of money. And like, really, mama probably didn't do anything wrong legally, but she did. Here's what they're not thinking about. She's like, well, mama put, you know, what, legally she had to put into the Coogan account because Coogan accounts, you only have to put 15% of what they made in the account. You get um, like 1099 on the show. You get the whole amount. You pay the taxes on it. 15% goes into the Coogan account. You keep the rest. Okay. So, okay. She followed the law in that regard, but the honey boo boo money, she did not follow the law. There are contracts out there stating that you are to get a percentage of your money Pumpkin, you, everybody, and nobody did. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I think my dog is outside. Texas and Sean say, hey, is the dog outside? Because it's kind of raining. 
So I wish they could find an attorney that would take them on contingency, not just for Alana, but for Alana, for Pumpkin, for Jesse, for Anna. For Caitlyn, the money that's all like that she already took from Caitlyn, allegedly. So here we are. This whole season is focused around the fact that June took Alana's money. We're not even focusing that much on the Honey Boo Boo money, two years worth of money. We're just focusing on Mama June not to hide for a year or two, and then the Masked Singer and Dancing with the Stars, right? Well, on this past Friday's episode, Mama June tells her husband, Justin, that her, her birthday is coming up and she wants to do something for herself because she never does anything for herself. You literally spent like seven people, like six other people's income on yourself. What do you mean you never, you missed out on Bentley being born for yourself because you went to Alabama to see Jordan McCollum, literally, literally. I y'all, I have an interview with Jordan McCollum, the guy that Mama June was talking to and trying to entertain during the time that Pumpkin was pregnant and she gave birth to Bentley. Um, on the show, they they talk about it about the fact that June was there when Ella was born, but was not there when Bentley was born. Um, and she was in a hotel somewhere in Alabama. I did an interview with him, and he tells us that June spent thousands of dollars on him. I think he also said that the reason June didn't go be with Pumpkin when Bentley was born uh, is she would tell them, oh, I got to get back to Jordan. He's on the verge of relapsing. And Jordan said, I was not on the verge of relapsing. I was actually like back with my grandmother, like with my family to kind of get away from June. He was trying to get away from June. So either way, either way, let's listen to what June said about the fact that she was their ATM machine, even though she blew up. No, they were your ATM machine. Like literally, you you were their ATM machine? No, they were yours. Okay, and that right there, you, you have spent their money for many, many, many years, not just Alana's. Uh, a lot of people are thinking, oh, it was Alana's. It was Alana's money. She spent Alana's money. No, she spent Alana's, Anna's, Pumpkin's, Jessica's, Caitlin's, Honey Boo Boo Days. She spent all of theirs. Now with the uh, Mama June not to hide, she spent the first like year or two of Alana and Pumpkins, right? And then she spends the money from her. And like Alana said, she said, I didn't practice a new dance four nights out of the week to get nothing. And I'm like, I know you didn't. Who would? Now, so her, there's some nerve for her to say, oh, I've never done anything for myself. Oh, so staying in Alabama to be with Jordan McCollum when your daughter was giving birth, that wasn't for you. Um, what else? There's so many things that selling the house. Oh, the, the, hold on. Mama June is penny pension after blowing a million dollars on drugs in a year. That wasn't for you. I mean, I know it was an addiction, so I hate to really be this way about it, but no, that was for you, June. Like, what do you mean you haven't done anything for you? To say that you're not going to be their ATM machine when literally since the show started, you have spent their money. That is insane to me. And then in the beginning, I like Justin. Justin would go live on TikTok and I would get in his TikToks and I would talk about experiences that I had with people that were addicts and he would read my comments and reply. Seemed like a really nice guy. And on the show during this time, where he seems mad and he's like, you're going to give them back their money. Like you're going to stop lying. Okay. But that at the end where he, he literally at first, it seems like he's trying to do the right thing. Cause he's like, June, I don't think it's a good time to be going to Vegas when we just had this big ordeal over money. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's the right time. And she says, Oh no, I'm tired of being their ATM machine. We're going to go. And he goes, she says, I'm about to be my own ATM machine. He goes, cha-ching. That is not an appropriate response from a man who just found out that his wife has stole upwards of 50 grand in one setting from one of their children. Because I did the math the other day, the minimum that she would have made, I think, wait. 
Yeah, the minimum that she would have made on Dancing with the Stars, I think, would have been 47000 maybe. Anywhere from like forty seven to uh, I think like eighty grand is what it would have been. I tried to do the math. Either way, so this is just in one one um job, you know, one job she sold that much. And for a man that just found this out, and she lied directly to you because she said, Oh, well, what I did was I put eighty percent of the paycheck in her account and only kept twenty. And then you busted her in that because she told the girls that she only put 15 and she kept 80. And you're like, that's not what you told me. And she's like, yes, it is. That is what I told you. The appropriate response would have been, um, June, <laughs> you haven't been their ATM machine. We literally just had this whole big discussion about the fact that you stole their money, Alana's money. So what do you mean being their ATM machine? You literally owe them money right now. But the way that he said it, cha-ching, made me feel like, oh, great. That's awesome. I, like, I, I'm so glad that you are only focused on, like, spoiling yourself because I'm your husband and I know I'm gonna, I'll get to be a part of that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. And I know a lot of people watch Justin on the show and they like him. And he seemed okay on the show, but he's changed on TikTok because, like I said, I started watching him on TikTok and I like him in the beginning. Um, but over like the past like six months or so, he is not as nice as he used to be. And it could just be because after a while on social media, you get so many comments like you do this wrong, you do that wrong, stop doing this, stop doing that. And he's definitely going to get public scrutiny over the fact that he's with Mama June. People think that he's with her for the wrong reasons. People say that June or Alana bought his teeth and bought his chains. So I, he, he's probably at this point just gotten super defensive. Um, or maybe he's hung out with June long enough that she's kind of rubbed off on him. I don't know. But either way, the the, the, the cha-ching at the end, I didn't like it. Um, and I was mind blown that she literally said that she was tired of being an ATM machine for her daughters. Ah! Ah! Um, whoo, did y'all hear that? Okay, and here's the thing. Okay, buddy, I'm about to get off. Um, okay, so here's the thing with June also is Pumpkin worked for several years from the time that she was like 13 up until, I mean, she's still working, but 18. And she had to work at Walmart. Pumpkin and Anna both had to work at Walmart, okay? So I gotta go. I gotta call Sean. I don't know. The weather's getting really bad here. It, I don't know if you guys can hear that thunder but it's kind of getting scary. Um, I would stay and continue telling you guys about how her daughters got the crap end of the stick. And for her to say that about the ATM thing, it's just like ridiculous. But I got to go, you guys. I'm getting scared. I got to get inside. Like, share, subscribe. We're trying to get to 100K. So please do me a huge favor and hit the thumbs up button. I'm going to be covering a video soon about how Mama June has already taken money that Caitlin made. So just bear with me on that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.